So today is July 29th, 2020, which means that Windows 10 is officially five years old as it came out in July 29th, 2015. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you the oldest version of Windows 10, which is Windows 10 version 1507, AKA RTM, and Windows 10 version 2004, which is the current latest version of Windows 10. I'm gonna show you how much has changed over this long, and talk about also some of the new features that are introduced in the new version. But if you do want to watch like the history of Windows 10, I did make a video last year, which I did post back up and you guys can watch that and link in the description. You guys can see that the setups are completely different as version 2004 has a Cortana type setup and Windows 10 version 1507 does not. So I don't know which one actually installed first as I had to scale these to the exact time, but Basically, in this video, we're going to be showing you and talking about the differences between both versions. Alright, so we are looking at the first version of Windows 10, which is known as Windows 10 Build 10240. You guys can see I'm opening an app there called Phone Companion, which is gone now because it's replaced by the Your Phone app. There's also a Get Started app, which is now Tips, I believe, in the new version. And... It was basically just telling me tips on like, you know, going on the internet and stuff, which I already was connected, which was funny. There is that Get Office app, which is now just Office. You guys can see that there is not a lot of bloatware on here. It's just very, you know, slimmed down. There's not many apps. There's an old Windows Defender, as you can see, as it got revamped in the newer versions a lot. The about page doesn't even say it's version 1507 or anything like that either, as you saw. And you can see there's that turn system icons on or off, which actually moved to the personalization section instead of system. And you can also see that the settings app just looked really old. There wasn't nearly as many settings. Yeah, there was quite a bit of settings, but there wasn't a ton of settings in the settings app. I couldn't personalize because it was not activated. So I couldn't show you that there is no colored title bars in RTM. Like if I picked a color and I told it to show on the taskbar and stuff, it would not show on the title bar because that feature was introduced in the Windows 10 November update, which was version 1511. So basically now I'm just going through settings. I even changed some of the privacy settings to like not collect my information as I usually like to keep it on basic and all that. It was trying to update, but because I wasn't gonna keep the VM on long, it wasn't a big deal. So you can see there were some update settings there, which that is definitely changed in the new version. And basically, that's what this looks like. You can see the old action center, it's on the left instead of the right, well, like on the new ones. The Windows Store looked really old and I couldn't download any apps because they all needed a newer version of Windows in order to run them. Microsoft Edge was extremely outdated as they do have the new Microsoft Edge now, which I did install on 2004, but it does come as, as an update if you don't. You can see the context menu when you right click on the start button looks old and you can see from Winver and CMD that it is, it is indeed build 10240. And also, you can see the 3D Builder app, which changed, I think, to 3D Viewer. They may have this other version, I'm not sure, but, I, but, but when I was looking in 2004, it was called 3D Viewer. You can see that when I sign out and sign in, there's that old Windows background and you can't change it, and also no transparency. And there's an error on shutdown, so pretty much that's all there really is. So now we're going to be taking a look at the latest version of Windows 10, which is Windows 10 version 2004 aka Windows 10 build 19041. You will notice differences right off the bat with the lock screen and the desktop wallpaper looking different, which changed in version 1903. You will see that the tips app is there, which I believe replaces the get started app on RTM. I could be wrong, but I think it does. And you could see I'm just going through them. You could see the apps were still, I think, trying to download, but there's the office app instead of it being called get office. You'll see there's actually a lot more apps installed on there, or maybe not, I'm not sure. Maybe they just weren't installed yet, because I think there were some that aren't showing. 
You can see that is the old Microsoft Edge. It is still newer than the RTM one, but it is the old one. So I, I there, then and there installed the new version of Microsoft Edge, which is a lot better because it's based on Chromium. So there's that. And you guys can see the start menu there and you can see the settings app and you can see that the settings app looks a lot different. There's that activity monitor, which tells you how much updates are taking. And you can also limit the bandwidth of Windows Update now in the latest version. And there I checked for updates so we could take a look at that once they update. We could see that. You can rename your virtual desktops now starting with version 2004. And in Task Manager you'll see that it says it's a hard drive there. There's also a GPU temperature in Task Manager if you have a GPU but because it's a virtual machine it does not. And you could see here when we take a look at something that in the optional features that Paint and Notepad and WordPad are optional features. You can see that Cortana is now a separate app instead of it being built into the search. You could also see there's an option to restart apps like after the system like reboots. So if you reboot your computer and it boots back up, your all your applications you had open would show. There was a password list thing, but for some reason it was not coming up where you could use your PIN and, and not instead of having a password and just have a PIN. But maybe I had to put a password first, I really don't know. And also the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2 came out, which was WSL2. And I think you enable it through that option, but I'm not entirely sure. There was something new with Bluetooth saying that you can get a notification to pair a Bluetooth device without having to worry about going in the settings, like if it sees a Bluetooth device, which I have not tested yet as Bluetooth doesn't really work on my computer. You could solve the new Windows Defender, which is a lot different than the RTM one. You can also see the Microsoft Store, which has definitely changed a lot. And I can now download apps and it looks a lot nicer, as you can see there. And I was just waiting for that to update so I could show you the bandwidth thing and stuff and also the feature of it reopening apps. You can see the about menu looks a lot different. It even tells you what version you're on in a separate category. They did say what it was in version 1511, but it wasn't like it's separate category or anything. And I'm rebooting for the update so we could see that after it logs in, you will notice that Edge is open with the web page that I was on. However, the Microsoft Store didn't stay on the same page. And you can see the version did update, which the latest dot number for it is dot three eight eight. You can notice that there you could do a cloud download when you reset your PC, which basically downloads Windows 10 fresh and then reinstalls your system with that, which is the new feature in 2004. You can see the your phone app there, which is built in to settings and just some more settings in general, as you can see. And it just looks a lot more fluent. Once again, I'm disabling some privacy stuff. And there's more Windows Search stuff, which they did change Search in 2004. You could also change your mouse pointer. And back then, you couldn't do that. Also, since it wasn't activated, I couldn't show you things like the light mode and the dark theme file explorer. But oh well, those are some new features that were introduced later on. You could see the Windows Update settings there. And when I go back in that thing, it says it downloaded updates from Microsoft, as you can see there. And I do end up turning off the feature of downloading from other computers because I don't really like that. The lock screen shows a blurred background and a new picture for the profile picture in light mode. And the blurred wallpaper was actually introduced in 1903, but the picture was introduced in version 2004. And you can look at the new sticky notes app there, which has definitely changed since RTM. It's now an app instead of it being the old sticky notes from Windows 7 era. And you can see the start menu actually did load apps as you can see and there is a feedback hub there which has changed a lot because in RTM it looked different and it also tries to force you on a Microsoft account as well. And there's the 3D viewer app I was talking about and pretty much that's that. So there you guys have it. We took a look at the oldest version of Windows 10 and the newest version of Windows 10. And I'm sure you guys saw a lot of key differences between the two. They definitely do look different. And a lot of things has been introduced since then. 
as there's been 10 different versions of Windows 10, not including Insider, and that is a lot of versions. I did make a video last year where I talked about each one. You can go watch that video again because I'm going to put the link in the description to it. Now, the only version it didn't really talk about was obviously 1909 and 2004, but not much changed in 1909 really from 1903 as it was basically like a service pack, I would call it. And 2004, I talked about the differences in this video. Now, I'm going to have an upcoming video showing something, but I'm not gonna include it in this video because I'd rather it be a separate video. And also, it's getting kind of late and I don't want this video to go up super late either. Because for some of you guys, it might even say it's the 30th because there are people on different time zones. So, there's that. But anyways, there's been so many differences and you guys can leave comments below on like what maybe what features you liked or what features you didn't like. And also, I will try and upload more videos if I can. I've just had a lot going on in my life and haven't had really the motivation nor many ideas to make videos, but I just had to make this video because I always make a video every year on this and I wanted to make it and I thought of the idea, so there you guys have it. I do have a couple videos planned though already, and I will try and get those up, but I can't guarantee they're going to be up right away. It's probably going to be like maybe a week or something, maybe less if I feel like it. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this, and anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I guess bye.